Just in time for the start of November, the first snowfall across West Virginia. We are in Randolph County, where there's about an inch of snow on the ground right now. Many of you have sent photos in showcasing snow from Raleigh County to all the way to Summersville. And the area averages anywhere from 2 to 10 inches of snow in the month of November. 10 inches further north of Snowshoe, 2 inches in the area near Beckley. So, this is the first snowfall of the season. But it's not a sign of what's to come this winter. We do have some warmer temperatures ahead. Of course, we will have your full forecast coming up here in just a couple minutes. In a good evening, starting off November, very cold across southern West Virginia. Temperatures checked in in the 30s for daytime highs, well below average out there for this time of the year. Currently still cold out there, and these colder conditions are going to last for at least the next day or so before some more warmer air comes back to the forecast as we close out this week. Currently 31 in Marlinton, 36 in Lewisburg, 35 degrees in Union, 37 in Summersville, 36 degrees in Oak Hill. Currently checking in at 39 as you go into Welch. Temperatures turning even cooler as we go into your overnight. Take a look at these temperatures as we're waking up for school and work tomorrow morning. Could even see some upper teens in the highest elevations. The rest of the region seeing those temperatures in the 20s for your morning commute tomorrow, so definitely bundle up. Then temperatures staying below average out there once again for your afternoon high tomorrow. Talking 40s region wide as we go towards your Thursday afternoon. Then starting Friday morning off cooler out there once again. Upper 20s highest elevations. The rest of the region seeing those temperatures in the 30s for your Friday morning. Before warming up a little bit more as we head towards football Friday. We're talking upper 50s. Possibly some low 60s in the forecast south of I-64 as we close out this week. Looking at those temperatures over the next five days, we are staying below average out there one more day as we go into Thursday. Could reach upper 40s to low 50s across southern West Virginia, but still below average out there temperature-wise. Warming up nicely as we close out this week, though upper 50s in the forecast Friday. Then take a look as we go Saturday, Sunday into Monday, low to mid 60s coming back into southern West Virginia. Saw the snow showers out there earlier today, but luckily staying mostly dry out there, mostly sunny out there for your evening. Then as we zoom out and take a look back towards our west, really no signs of any precipitation in the forecast. That means high pressure is going to dominate for the next several days, allowing for mostly sunny conditions and warmer weather to come back to the region. But for the rest of the night, temperatures are the main story, dropping pretty quickly into those upper 20s by 11 p.m. this evening under mostly clear skies and dropping even more if you're overnight low. We're talking mid-20s as we're waking up for work and school tomorrow morning. Looking at those chances of precipitation over the next seven days, really no signs of any rain or snow in the forecast as we close out this week into this weekend. Starting off Monday, mostly dry out there as well. Our next chance of any precipitation comes back to the forecast as we go Tuesday into Wednesday as we're watching our next front push through the region. But this is how it times out on future cast. High pressure dominates for much of this week, staying mostly dry Thursday, Friday, even into this weekend. But as we get closer to early next week, watching our next chance of rain to come back to the forecast, looking like Tuesday into possibly early Wednesday. Looking at the seven day forecast now, they're staying mostly dry and heating up as we go towards the end of this week. 50s in the forecast Thursday, possibly 60 as we go into Friday. Mostly sunny conditions, great news for football Friday. 60s in forecast Saturday into Sunday, watching for a few showers to come back as we go into Tuesday into Wednesday. Brandon, it's pretty wild the roller coaster that we've had in weather the last I couple know. weeks. 70s two weeks ago. This past week's been freezing, snow this morning. How to turn the heat on now we're at getting, my house yeah, today. Yeah, same. And now we're getting back up to the 60s. Yeah, it went from heat to the air conditioner in just a span of a couple of days. Yeah. Look, as long as the sun's out, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, what about if it's cold out, though? No, no, I mean, it's okay as long as the sun's out. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather it be warm, but if the sun's out, I'm good. Well, 60s and sun this weekend, I'll definitely take that. I'll take that, no doubt. <laughs> we'll be back with more right after this.